Hello everyone. Today I'm excited to share with you my reviews of three of my favorite yoga mat brands. I have been teaching yoga for almost 10 years and taking yoga for shortly longer than that. And I have tried a lot of different kinds of yoga mats and so has Princess Mini. So the two of us today are going to review and share with you our favorite yoga mats and why for all different kinds of yoga. And hopefully you'll be able to choose one from here. All right, we're gonna start with the Lululemon, the mat. Um, so this mat is a great all around yoga mat. It technically has two sides. So it has this one side that you can practice on as well as this. Personally, I don't feel that that is clean. I only prefer to practice on one side of my mat. I don't like to flip it over because um, I just want my body on one side, the ground on the other side. And I also find that this side functionally works the best. So this mat is very sticky. It's super moisture wicking. So if you get really hot in hot yoga, most of the time, you do not need a towel, which is awesome because you can just keep sweating all over the mat. The mat so uh, soaks the sweat in. And then um, afterwards, I highly recommend cleaning your mat. So a lot of people leave their mats rolled up like this and then they go into their next class. But with this mat, your whole body print will still be on it. So you have to make sure you hang it over a chair or outside somewhere to dry. And then I also recommend cleaning their mat. Lululemon has um, information online of how to clean the mats properly. So based on how the mat is made with the materials and the way that it's uh, such so moisture wicking, it's important to follow their cleaning rules. Otherwise you can take away from the stickiness of the mat. The mat is guaranteed. So if it's not working for your function of what you want to use, you can always bring it back to the lemon. They will ask questions to make sure that you have been, you know, taking care of it appropriately. But uh, I highly recommend this mat. I really enjoy using it for hot yoga specifically, but it can also be used for not hot yoga because um, it does feel great on the body even when the mat is not wet. So this is not a mat you have to spray with water. So one of my favorite mats and um, they have really fun colors too. So the second mat that I have chosen to talk to you about is the Jade Yoga Mat. Uh, this mat comes in many different sizes, so it has lots of different thicknesses if you want an in-studio practice, out-of-studio, or a travel mat. So this is considered my travel mat. It is super light. Um, I find it really compact so I can easily roll it up if I really wanted to. I could also fold it up so I could kind of like fold it in half, fold it again, and then fold it this way, which can be really helpful for a suitcase. Uh, it's thick enough so that if you're doing headstands or you know you have you don't like the pressure on your palms of a hardwood floor with a mat that I really enjoy it for that reason as well but this is a mat that I will take with me when I travel um, to take yoga different places as well as if I'm working at a festival just because I can kind of like throw it around it's super easy to clean you can clean it kind of with all types of uh, natural cleaning materials and um, the the material of the mat takes in all of that so it um, isn't the best for hot yoga for me personally, just because if you are incredibly sweaty, it doesn't, for me, I slide a little bit. But again, generally when I'm traveling and I'm attending or teaching, I'm not sweating as much as I would be in a super hot yoga class. So that's why I really enjoy this mat and, and having it. Um, and because it's a smaller mat and a lighter mat, it has a, a lower price point as well. So the third mat I'm going to share with you is the Aloha Cork Native Yoga Mat. Uh, this mat is really awesome. It is super grippy. It's nice and long and wide, which I really enjoy, so I can extend from my fingers to my toes when I'm practicing. I'm an ambassador for this product, so I really am excited to share it with you. And um, in the description below of this video, I also have a 10% off coupon code that you can use for these mats. They're great because um, they are made here in the USA. They're made out of cork and rubber, so they're super sustainable. This would be one of the most sustainable yoga mats on the market. So if you're rather eco-friendly and those are the products you wanna use, I highly recommend this mat. Um, it doesn't roll up as small as I showed you that the Jade Yoga Mat does, which is why I haven't traveled with this mat yet, but it is incredibly light. It's less than five pounds, so it's very easy to go to and from with. This mat is great for hot and not hot yoga. I found myself not slipping on it when I'm doing not hot yoga. And then when I am doing hot yoga, it's super moisture wicking. There are certain ways to clean this mat. So again, you can look that up on the Yoloha website and um, they kind of talk you through just what to make sure you're using so that you preserve the cork. Again, it is cork, it is rubber. So you want to lay this mat out so it doesn't hold a stench. And um, this mat should do you really well for a while. So just a quick recap, the Lululemon, the mat is a great all around mat for all kinds of yoga. 
This jade yoga mat, specifically this travel version, is awesome for travel. Again, something that I use a lot. And then this Yaloha mat is amazing for hot yoga. So lots of different reasons to have different yoga mats, but if you have any questions about them, please leave a comment below. I'm happy to help you pick your favorite mat that would work best for you.